Hey there, bowlers. Buddy Malkias coming to you from Bolero Sawgrass in Tamarack, Florida. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the latest release from 900 Global, the new Zen U. It's the same core you found in the Zen, Zen Soul, and the Zen Master, but with a urethane cover stock. Now I'm not a big urethane user. I've got the fast pitch, I've got the pitch black. Um, they're my go-to balls for the short, short patterns like cheetah and such. Uh, but today I'm going to demonstrate the Zen U and kind of give you an idea of how it rolls. And today we're going to be using it on the uh, used up house pattern. Probably about 15 or 20 games have been thrown on that pattern. And I'm going to give you an idea of how this ball reacts on that burned up condition. And I'm kind of hoping to uh, give you a really good representation of how well it can shape. Uh, this is the first time I've actually been excited to get a urethane ball and uh, can't wait to demonstrate how this works. While I'm bowling, I'm going to be wearing my I Am Bowling jersey. And if you're ever interested in getting an I Am Bowling jersey, you can use my coupon code, Bowling Buddy. I'll put that in the link and uh, give you an idea of how you can order that. And uh, let's get out to the lanes and show you how this Zen U rolls. All right there, bowling fans. We're now out here on the lanes at Bolero Sawgrass, Tamarack, Florida. And as talked about here, we're going to show you and how well this new release from 900 Global, the Zen U rolls. Today we're standing out here on a house shot. I'm going to be looking at about 12, 13, throwing it out to about 5, 6. All right, so that first shot was pretty good. Uh, it struck. I didn't get it down lane as far as I wanted to. I got it to about, uh, probably about seven, eight down lane. I'm gonna try it again, trying to throw it over 12. Get it out to about five, six down lane and show you how well this ball shapes on the back end of the pattern. All right, let's throw a few more shots in that same area. Throwing the ball probably around 12, getting it down lane to about five, six. I'm on a used up house shot, nothing special here. Well, as you can see, that ball actually came off the pattern pretty well, nice and flush. I don't have to even slow up with this ball. It's kind of nice to be able to just kind of roll it right off your hand and it reacts down lane. Okay, so I got that one a little inside, got it in the oil, kind of got the ball a little further down lane than I wanted, but still kind of reacted, flat 10. Try that again. So what I'm doing actually between every shot is I'm actually using one of these, you know, chamois, you know, by 900 Global. It still acts like urethane. I still have to rub all of the oil off because if I don't, it'll just kind of slide down about 60 feet and not react well. But as long as I take the oil off between shots, I'm actually getting that same reaction I'm looking for down lane, which is really what we're looking for is that consistent look down lane. All right, so I'm gonna move left a little bit here on this next shot. I'm gonna go like closer to 13, 14 and get it out and kind of show you how strong this ball has the ability to recover. Uh, down lane. Still looking at six, seven down lane, but I'm going to cross around 13, 14. Okay, there. So I moved about three left and got the balls down lane. It still reacted just as strong. I'm going to try and repeat that process again. 13 at the lanes on the arrows, six down lane, a little weak. All right, so that last shot, that's unfair to the ball. That was more user error than anything. I kind of grabbed on a little more than I showed at the bottom, didn't let it roll. And that's kind of why it hit flat, it really wasn't the ball. Okay. 
Okay, so we got a little mixer there on that last one. Again, I was throwing close to 13, 14 down lane. I'm gonna move two left, get closer to 14, 15, get it to the dry, see what it'll do. All right, well, uh, I'm not a big urethane user. I don't have a lot of hand. I've only got about 380, 375, 380 in revs, but I just made that ball look like something Darren Tang would throw. Got that thing to turn around a corner. All right, so that was one game with the 900 Global Zen U. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna throw a few frames with the Storm uh, Pitch Black and kind of give you an idea of how the comparison is between these two different uh, black Southern, you know, Southern, the black solid urethane covers. So you get an idea of representation and how they respond. Okay, so I'm gonna move back right. I'm gonna throw this ball closer to 12, get it down lane, hit, try and hit five, six. Kind of give you an idea of how this ball is going to react similar to the 900 Global Zen U. And there you go, the pitch black. A little weaker down lane, so I'm going to have to move right a little bit further. Get closer to like 10, 11 and be a little more squared up with this ball for it to react. Well, that was a little weak too. I'm gonna to move back right further and I'm gonna to try to be a little more direct, keep this ball in front of me. Okay, again, the pitch black just does not recover on the back end the way the Zen U does. I'm gonna move further right and I'm trying to play straight up. Again, as I said earlier in the video, I'm not a typical user of urethane. You know, I am a senior and I like that reactive. I need the hook. Well, there you go. The pitch black again did, just did not turn a corner like I needed it to. So I'm gonna try again, move a little further squared up with it, more over the first arrow. So I moved right with the pitch black, got it closer to like three, four, five down lane in that area and the ball over hooked. Um, this just has never been a ball for me that worked great, but there's a lot of people that absolutely love this ball. Okay, I'm gonna try one more shot with the pitch black. Um, I have a buddy of mine, Bill Vinoy, who absolutely, you put that ball in his hand, it is money. Uh, there's a lot of people that way. For me, it just wasn't great, but it kind of explained why I was so excited about the 900 Global Zen U and its urethane cover stock. So I finally struck with the pitch black. It's always been a touchy ball for me, but I'm gonna throw the Zen U in the same area just to kind of give you an idea of how strong this ball reacts on the backside. Well, there you go. I threw that Zen U in the same spot as the pitch black and it absolutely screamed off the spot, went Brooklyn. So I'm gonna move back left throw this ball over about 13, 14, get it down lane and watch it recover.
All right, folks, so that's me demonstrating the 900 Global Zen U uh, Urethane Plus. I'll give you the numbers in the description here in the video. Um, you know, get yourself a chamois. You're gonna need it when using this ball. And uh, if you're ever on the leans, you need to look good, you need to wear some that really pops, got some color, check out these jerseys here from I Am Bowling. Uh, for me, I've been trying a lot of different brands over the years, and I Am Bowling has been probably the most comfortable and flexible jersey I've been able to wear. Uh, they put just anything you need, put your logos on there, put them on the back, your name, so they get you everything covered, and they're pretty quick on their turnaround times too, and they're very reasonable. Uh, in the description here in the video, I'll give you a discount code, uh, Bowling with Buddy, or actually it's just Bowling Buddy, and uh, use that coupon code, you get 20% off, and uh, you know, try them out, man, they're really good. I've been using them for the last six, seven months, and they're most comfortable. Just for fun here, uh, part of the demo, I'm gonna demonstrate the fast pitch playing up the outside. This actually has been one of my favorite urethane balls from the Storm product line. Well, there you go. You see why I like the fast pitch. Pretty much play this ball down and in on a lot of different patterns, especially those short oil patterns. Well, we're back, and I, I gotta tell you, I am impressed. And for the first time in my career in a long time, since we're gone, long time ago, and I'm old, and first time I've actually been really excited about a urethane ball and the opportunities to use it on a variety of conditions. That Zen U actually just shaped so well down lane and it held the line and when it went through, it split the eight nine. It was just a beautiful thing to see. Uh, as you saw, I labored with the pitch black. It just isn't a ball that's ever been able to use. It's a great ball. It's awesome for a lot of people. It just wasn't fit for me, but I can see that this 900 Global Zen U is going to be a ball in my arsenal that I'm going to be using on a, a lot of different uh, sport patterns, especially on the PBA Regionals and PBA National Tour. I can see myself using that, um, but I can also see myself using it on a second or third game on a extremely cliffed house shot uh, that allows me to you know, shape the ball, hold the lane, and still hit through the pocket. I think this is a ball that you really got to look at considering your arsenal. If you liked the Zen, you're going to really, really like this ball. Uh, it comes out November 18th. Check with your local pro shop, pre-order them. I can't tell you enough that uh, for a urethane ball, this is the time to get one. This is where the game is going. This cover stock is revolutionary and I think it's going to be more and more options that you're going to see on a lot of different product lines from Storm, Roto-Grip, as well as 900 Global. So, Give it a shot, order yours, and uh, till then, keep striking.